Welcome. Today I bring you the preview of the next chapter of The Ambassador's Daughter. Nair enters the house so Melek greets her with a hug, she asks where Sanjar is, so Nair replies that Sanjar is busy. Melek says that they had planned to go see schools for her, so Nair explains that they will go the next day since she is sick. Melek asks if Sanjar will see her then at night, Nair tells her that after they go to see schools she will stay a few days with Sanjar so she won't keep asking about him every day. Melek says she always has to be with one of them but she wants to be with both of them. Geddes interrupts to go talk to Nair, so Elvon takes Melek away. Nair goes out with Geddes and Nekdet sees them, so he starts taking pictures of them. Geddes asks Nair where Sanjar is and how she feels. Nair answers that during those nine years she dreamed that Sanjar believed her but now she sees that it is actually a nightmare and that she doesn't believe that Sanjar can forgive himself. Geddes asks her if then she has forgiven Sanjar. But Nair says that she can't forgive him. Geddes says that love forgives everything. But Nair replies that she only cares that Sanjar doesn't do anything stupid. For Melek's sake, Geddes tries to encourage her, but Nair says that if something happens to Sanjar she won't be able to go on living. She says that she learned to live without him but if something happens to him she doesn't know what she will tell Melek. Geddes asks her not to cry and promises her that he will protect Sanjar so that nothing happens to him. Geddes hugs her so Nekdet excitedly takes pictures of them and tells Manek that he already has what he asked for so if he wants the pictures pay him. Manek seeing the message is happy. Sanjar has Karam kidnapped and has them watch all the places where Akin could have escaped to. He also has them watch Moog to try to find Akin's whereabouts. For his part Moog goes to see Akin to taunt him. Later Geddes asks Nair if she is feeling better now. She says yes. So Geddes comments in surprise that Moog didn't seem sad anymore either. Even though for days she was so depressed that she didn't eat and just wailed and cried all the time. Nair tells him that she doesn't believe that she is still defending Akin. But Geddes says that she might be and that's why he is going to interrogate her. But first he will look for Sanjar. Sanjar returns home. Manek receives him and angrily asks him if he was with Nair at night. Accusing him of being unfaithful. Sanjar answers that he has nothing with Nair. But Manek doesn't believe him and tells him that he will also know the pain of feeling cheated. Manek leaves angry and Sanjar goes to see Zara. But not finding her he sends her a worried message. Gulsie seeing Sanjar asks him if he has seen Elvon. He replies that Elvon is fine. And asks for Kovarik. Golsie replies that he is outside so he goes to see him but Halise stops him to greet him and ask him if he has been with Nair, so Sanjar is furious and leaves without saying anything to him. Sanjar sees Kavarek so he goes to talk to him but Halise stops him and arrogantly looks at Kavarek. He is scared that Halise will cause a problem by revealing how he feels about Zara. But Halise claims to Sanjar since none of them have forgiven her and they don't even talk to her. Sanjar replies that he doesn't know if Zara will forgive her but for him he shouldn't worry. Sanjar approaches Kavarek to ask him if he knows where Zara is. Kavarek replies that she went to work and says that he knows that he now believes Nair. So he asks him if he plans to take revenge on Akin. Sanjar angrily takes him to the barn. Kavarek tells him that if he wants to kill Akin he can count on him as he will take care of it. Asking him to stay out of trouble for the sake of his family. Because he is willing to give his life for him. But Sanjar asks him not to do anything and to stay taking care of his family. Saying that if he takes care of them he can be come. Kavarek swears to him that he will do it for him, so Sanjar hugs him. Geddes returns home to meet Sanjar. There he finds him talking happily with Rafika and Moog. They go to talk to the pool so Moog is scared that they will find a kin. Sanjar complains that Geddes lied to him. Geddes tells him that he had to do it and if he wants to beat him for lying to him he can do it. But Sanjar hugs him, making Geddes surprised. Sanjar thanks him for being willing to give so much money to make him well. But warns him not to try to hide Akin as he plans to kill him. Geddes gets upset. But Sanjar says that Akin must pay for what he did. Geddes tells him that he plans to find Akin before him and after beating him up he will hand him over to the police. Because he doesn't want him to become a murderer. Sanjar asks him if he is then going to keep doing things behind his back. Geddes replies that he doesn't need to do it behind his back as he is telling him clearly. Then they go to talk about the inside job and Akin overhears them. Geddes asks Sanjar if Zara is okay. Sanjar replies that he hasn't seen her and although she seems sad she is fine. Geddes says that maybe she is ashamed with him. 
so Sanjar blames himself. Geddes asks him why, so Sanjar replies that it is because he should have killed a kin eight years ago. Halise calls Kavarek to tell him that the reason she didn't tell Sanjar about his feelings for Zara is because she has decided to give him a chance. So if he doesn't notice Zara again, she won't say anything to Sanjar, making it clear to him that he is not on his daughter's level. Kavarek swears to her that he won't try anything with Zara but he can't change his feelings. Halise gets angry and says she doesn't want a worker in love with her daughter so she will get him a woman on his level, but Kavarek replies that he doesn't want to marry. So Halise tells him that if he doesn't marry who she tells him she will tell everything to Sanjar and throw him out of the mansion. Kavarek remembers Sanjar's words, where he trusted him to his family. So Kavarek asks him not to throw him out since he has made a promise to Sanjar. But Halise replies that either he marries or he leaves. So Kavarek sadly agrees to marry whoever she says. Moog gets nervous as Sanjar and Geddes are taking too long and fears they have found a kin but soon after he sees them leave, so they say goodbye. Sanjar and Geddes come out. Sanjar comments that apparently Moog recovered very soon from what happened and says goodbye to Geddes saying he will go to see his daughter. Geddes tells him that he should say goodbye to her before he finds a kin as if he becomes a killer he will never see her again. Sanjar replies that he will tell him when he finds a kin and leaves. Geddes tells Razier that he is going to pay him more as he wants him to inform him of everything Moog does. Sanjar goes to see Karam, but he just says he doesn't know where a kin is, but Sanjar tells him that he has lied to him before for money and asks who could have hidden a kin. Karam says it may have been Moog as he is his only contact there and they talked before going back there. Sanjar asks him what Moog talked to a kin about, so Karam tells him that during the call a kin was very angry asking Moog why he lied about Nair's whereabouts and also asked if Sanjar had seen the video. Sanjar asks what that video was of. So Karam tells him that it is a video of when Akin tried to molest Nair and Nair stabbed him to escape. He says that Guven had erased all evidence of that incident but apparently he didn't erase that video. So Sanjar angrily leaves. Nekdet meets Manek. She gives him gold bracelets. So Nekdet sends him the photos of Geddes and Nair where they are hugging. Manek comments that he would have liked to have more compromising photos. At that moment they see Sanjar arrive at Nair's house. So they hide. Malik happily welcomes his father. Nair approaches Sanjar to ask how he is and if he is looking for a kin. Sanjar changes the subject and comments that they will go to see schools for Malik. Nair says that if they decide to enroll her in one they will have to take Guven too because he is still Malik's guardian. So Sanjar remembers that he still has Guven tied up in the hotel bathroom and calls for him to be untied. Then Malik goes to sleep and asks his father to read him a book, as Nair always does. So the three of them lie down and joke around, while Minek watches them sadly. Malik falls asleep so Nair asks Sanjar to leave, but he asks her to show him the video first, she asks him what he is talking about, but Sanjar tells her that she knows what he is talking about. Nair says that he already showed her the video at the port. Sanjar asks her not to keep lying to him and to show him the video she hid from him of Akin's attack, Nair asks him to leave. Sanjar asks him to stop worrying about hurting him and show him the video. Since Akin deserves to be punished, so Nair crying gives him the cell phone and shows him the video of Akin's attack. So Sanjar in shock goes to the cabin to cry. The next day Halise and Manek go to see Asiye to propose her to marry Kavarek. They all laugh and Aisha refuses, so Halise offers her a house in exchange, so she accepts asking for more money. And so we end this preview, until next time.